Good evening, this is News 13 for Monday, July the 6th, 2015. I'm Matthew Fogel. Glad to be with you. Well, we hope to share with you fireworks and festivities this evening from the 4th of July Independence Holiday. But instead tonight, we lead with the Nelson County Sheriff's Office conducting a missing person investigation on a Nelson County woman. According to Sheriff Ed Mattingly, Crystal M. Rogers was last seen on Friday and her vehicle, a 2007 four-door Chevrolet, has since been located abandoned on the Bluegrass Parkway near the 14-mile marker westbound. The vehicle, according to the sheriff, had a flat tire and the keys and Rogers' personal belongings were still with the vehicle when family members found it. She was last seen by her boyfriend on Friday afternoon, according to the sheriff. He says the family is concerned and states that it is not like her to not be in touch. Family members spent last evening and today along the Bluegrass Parkway searching for Rogers or anything that could lead to her being found. A family member told News 13 that more than 50 people have come to help over that time span. This afternoon, the Nelson County Sheriff's Office held a press conference concerning the investigation, and we will play you that press conference in its entirety now. Okay, I want to introduce myself. I'm Ed Mattingly. I'm the Nelson County Sheriff. It's spelled E-D, last name M-A-T-T-I-N-G-L-Y. Um, we've called a press conference today because of a missing persons report that we have taken and um, that we are currently working with the family and several agencies in trying to locate uh, Crystal Rogers. Um, I've got some information here that I want to hand out to you all, which went out in a uh, press release. It's uh, the pictures of the, of the car that we have up on the screen and uh, uh, pictures of Crystal. Uh, how this, I want to just fill you in and bring you up to date where we started. Um, yesterday afternoon at approximately 3 o'clock, a family member came to the sheriff's office to report that they believed that Crystal Rogers was missing. Uh, shortly thereafter, another family member found Crystal's car near the 14-mile marker on the Bluegrass Parkway. Um, it raised a bunch of concern because a tire on the vehicle was flat and Crystal's personal belongings, including her cell phone and purse, were left in the vehicle. The keys were still in the car. Uh, we immediately uh, began trying to reach, trace uh, Crystal's steps and the uh, last person that we know that Crystal was with was uh, her boyfriend or a common law husband. They have a child together. They live here in Bardstown, and uh, his name is Brooks Halk. And I want everyone to know that he has been completely cooperative with our investigation and has tried to assist us in any way that he can and has been helping us today as well as he did yesterday. And uh, uh, we need everyone's help and everyone in the Ballard family and in the Brooks Houck family to come together to try and figure out where Crystal is at. Um, I want to introduce uh, uh, Captain Tom Roby with the Barstown Police Department. Uh, the Barstown Police Department has been assisting us as well as the Kentucky State Police, the Kentucky State Police Crime Lab, uh, the Hardin County Narcotics Task Force, um, uh, we've had the air unit from the Kentucky State Police involved and uh, we are working as a team to try and find out where Crystal is and what has happened. Um, the, some of the family members are here. This is uh, uh, Tommy Ballard who is Crystal's father. This is uh, her sister Brooke and uh, other family members. Uh, and they have chosen uh, Tom Roby to speak to them. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, Crystal is a niece to uh, one of my deputies, Barbara Roby, who is retired from the Barstown Police Department. And uh, she has been the liaison between the family and us, and we're trying to, to uh, find out every bit of information we can uh, to locate her. And what I'm asking is that if the public saw anything 
on the Bluegrass Parkway near the 14 mile marker involving the maroon Chevrolet Impala behind me that is also on the handout and Crystal uh, anytime between uh, late Friday night and yesterday afternoon uh, we would like to hear from them what they saw and if there's anything that they can relate to us that might help in this investigation. Uh, we currently have many people uh, with boots on the ground, uh, searching areas, uh, checking and processing uh, the vehicle. And with that said, I would like uh, if Tom Roby would speak on behalf of the Ballard family. Uh, thank you. Uh, on behalf of all of Crystal's uh, family and friends, thank you for uh, helping us get the word out. Um, I also would like to ask everyone for the continued support, everyone who shared uh, information on social media, uh, spreading the word. Uh, thank everyone for the, the prayers and their support. Uh, if you think you saw something or if you think you know something, even uh, what you may think is insignificant, please call because it could be very important. Uh, we also, that if Crystal can hear our voice, uh, we love you. We want to know where you're at. Contact us. Let us know <clears throat> that you're okay. And uh, just continue to pray and help us. Thank you. At this time, I'll answer any questions that anybody may have uh, regarding what we've done. Uh, it may be limited in what I can answer because we're currently uh, working in several different areas. So if anybody has any questions, we can take them. Can you be more specific in the search efforts as far as what resources you're using? I know we saw a okay. helicopter using dogs. Um, the family has done a whole lot of searching themselves uh, that I'm, I haven't been directly involved in. Um, there's nothing worse than sitting idle when you're feeling this way and you want to be a part of the solution. And uh, they have been out working, been out on four-wheelers, checking different farms. As far as the police department, um, we're currently processing the vehicle at an undisclosed location with uh, members of the Kentucky State Police Crime Lab and uh, um, uh, assistance from the Barstown Police Crime Scene Unit. Um, our guys have uh, been out to her home and searched her home. Um, and we have also uh, been in contact with uh, other members of the family on the farms. Currently looking in those areas, the air unit has searched along the Bluegrass Parkway as well as the family, uh, just looking for any type of lead. And uh, uh, what we're hoping by putting this information out to the public is that uh, somebody saw something somewhere that will get us going in the right direction. Was there any sign of a struggle at the car, or has she been in any kind of argument or altercation? We do not have that, no. At this point in the investigation, do you suspect foul play? I have no reason to suspect foul play other than the circumstances. If it was your sister that left her car on the Bluegrass Parkway and hadn't been seen from for three days and her purse and her car keys were in the car, that's where we're at. And it's very... It's very, it's very unusual that, that that's, that's where I'm at. When was the last time she was seen? The last time we know for a fact that she was seen was Friday evening. Where was that? Uh, with her boyfriend and her baby uh, on a family farm. Was the car unlocked when it was first? Was yes. Started? Yes. So the first indication you have of that car being parked there is someone who... We're getting, we're getting conflicting reports of when the car was seen there. And uh, uh, we have people that say they saw it Saturday. We have people that didn't see it Saturday. We have people that saw it yesterday. Uh, and we just don't know for sure. Did anybody see her? At the, at the scene of the car, like trying to fix a flat tire or something like that. You know, when, when you put something out in the media that is, uh, I don't like to put a whole lot of weight on one what one person saw. I want two or three people to see the same thing. And that's why I say we have conflicting reports. Sure.
were there any possessions at all outside of the vehicle? No. Does she have any connections to Elizabeth Town, like, or west of here, where she may have been going to Eastbound? We something? we have investigated um, that they that her and her boyfriend were friends with a couple um, in the Hardin County area, but other than that, we have no reason. We don't understand why she was at that spot, and it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that she was there. Who's taking care of her children? Her family. How many children does she have? Tom, you want to? Okay. Did the boyfriend mention if there was any type of argument or anything out of the family farm mm. that they would separate? You know, when you when you interview people, you go back, and there's no relationships out there that are are golden. Uh, we do not know of any immediate uh, altercation or anything. So the boyfriend has been questioned. But extreme. He has been extremely cooperative, and uh, uh, we've got other things that we're going to do in the future, and and. A lot of times when you get into personal relationships, one side of the family might not like the other side of the family as much. And as police officers, we have to work with everyone. And the only way we will ever arrive at the truth is being respectful, non-accusatory, unless we have information that says that some person did something. And until we have that information, we don't go there. Her missing, you know, boyfriend or other family members? Other family members. Confirm she, she lives in Barstown? That's correct. Yeah. Is she a native of Barstown? She grew up in Barstown? Tom? Yes. Can you spell the boyfriend's last name? H O U C K. You're saying right now there's not a suspect or a person. That there is not a suspect. The only the, the you start with the people that are the closest, and it's terrible that uh, that we're at this point, and uh, you have to go back and retrace footsteps. And as far as we know right now, he was the last person that was with her. But that's simply what that means. He was the last person that was with her, and we do not need to be accusatory towards anyone. Tracing footsteps with a final rescue of such, or I know the family is out there. What is the process moving forward in the next day or so? Excuse me. What what do we 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 plan we can't we plan on receiving phone calls and following up tips? I've got detectives from several different agencies working several different directions, trying to retrace the footsteps that we know and uh, pull different videos, trying to, to trace cars back, and uh, right now we need the public's help and that's what we're looking for. We've had numerous phone calls, I can't, I'm like, a bunch. Is that her exact car, is that a model like it? That is the car, that is her car. We're not looking for the car, we have the car. It's just, if somebody recognized seeing that car, on the Bluegrass Parkway or saw anything unusual. I mean, a bunch of people saw the car. I'm looking for somebody that saw some person around the car. You said it had a flat tire? Yes. Was it uh, intentionally flat, flattened, or it let, let the air out? From what we can tell at the scene, it's a flat tire. Uh, uh, you can trace it off the road to where it stopped. flat tire, you believe whoever was driving caused them to pull over? Yes. Sure, was, uh, was Mr. Howe provided here today? Uh, yes, he was. Uh, and he wanted me to, and to say that he was willing to be here, but I did not want to have any uh, controversy here in this office.
any record of anybody she called on her phone? Those are all things that are under investigation that we're working on currently. So is it safe to say on a time frame do you suspect when she was driving last? No, uh, we're just saying that her car is on the Bluegrass Parkway and it had a flat tire. We don't know who was driving it or what. We're just saying that her car was located on the Bluegrass Parkway that had a flat tire and pulled off to the side of the road. Headed towards Barstow. Headed towards Elizabeth Town. Towards Westbound on the Bluegrass Parkway at the 14 mile mark. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you all for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Once again, anyone with information about the whereabouts of Crystal M. Rogers is asked to call the Nelson County Sheriff's Office at 502 348 1870.